Hello and welcome to the channel. You know that one of the secret sauce of a good large language model and AI powered application is the underlying data set. If the data set is good enough, unique enough, the model will be unique and good and vice versa. So how do companies go about collecting the data for their data set? Yes, we know that data has to be in a proper format, like it should be preference aligned and something like that. But before that, you have to have the data. If you are just going and um, downloading the whole GitHub and all the other commonly available data set, which are freely available, and you are training your data on uh, your model on that data, then what would be the difference between your model and rest of the thousand models out there? One way of bringing in uniqueness to your model is to have unique data set or a different data set. And the way you can do it is through scraping the website, which are not really uh, scrapable or which are hard to scrape or which are not scraped by or browsed through by common crawlers. And that is where you need a good tool. There are a lot of tools in the market and I have already been reviewing some of them and I will be covering uh, them in the future too. But one tool which I just stumbled upon, which looks quite fast and good is Crawly. Crawly is simply a browser automation and scraping library, which allows you to quickly and easily scrape the websites. One thing I really liked about it is that it is fast. There are still some deficiencies. For example, it is a bit hard to uh, sort of do crawling on some of the websites, especially the ones which are quite image heavy. But other than that, for a run of the mill web crawling, this is good. Now, one thing I would highly uh, emphasize here is that make sure that you only crawl the websites which allow you to do that because it could be that if you're crawling a website and there is there are some terms and condition it could be illegal to crawl those websites so make sure that you read um, the terms and references you read that uh, and make sure that you are not violating any sort of um, legal in windows because that is very very important now i am looking Crawly and similar tools from the lens of data set creation and for that we have to have our data and that is why in this video we are going to install Crawly on our local system and then we will see how to crawl a website with the help of Crawly and Crawly uh, doesn't isn't just a scraping tool it has got a good features around that for example it has got a single interface for HTTP and headless browsing crawling it has a persistent queue for URLs to crawl uh, breadth and depth first of course and then it has got a pluggable storage for both tabular data and files it has got automatic scaling it with available system resources plus it has also got integrated proxy rotation and session management plus it also offers life cycles customizable with hooks and you can also use its cli to bootstrap your projects it also enables you to have configurable routing error handling and retries plus it also gives you docker files uh, which you can deploy and then it also opens up the door to be deployed on kubernetes it is written in typescript with generics but you can also use it with javascript and i will drop the link to it in video's description before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to its um website in video description and i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus and by the way i'm not using in any ai or llm for this so you don't need a gpu in order to run crawly so let's go to my terminal and i'm running here ubuntu 22.04 and let me also quickly for the sake of it show my gpu card which is nvidia rtx a6000 courtesy mass compute let me clear the screen now there are a couple of prerequisites which you need to have in order to run this Crawly because it is sort of a uh, Node.js native. So because um, you can say that it's a browser automation library for Node.js to build reliable crawlers. And you can also do it in JavaScript and TypeScript. So the prerequisites are you must have Node installed. 
the latest version is always good and npm install i bo have both of them if you have both of them it means that also you have node package executor which is npx and by the way npm is for node package management uh, where you download them and install them in your project npx is for node package executor which doesn't download them but only executes them so i have got all three of them with pretty recent uh, versions now in order to install and run crawly all you need to do is to simply run this command and let me actually paste it here instead of typing so you see all i'm doing it i am just uh, creating a new project with crawly and then i'm using this uh, after this i'll be using crawly cli so i'm using npx utility to download and run the cli and it is embedded in this in uh, crawly package so let me run it and so it is just showing me a prompt that this is going to install this i'm just going to say why and then it is also going to ask me if i want to use typescript or not uh, if you're aware of typescript that is all great but if you're a javascript developer you can even select javascript so let's wait for it and then we will check out further there you see it is asking us whether we want to go to TypeScript, JavaScript, MT. So if you're just starting out, I would highly suggest you just start with the TypeScript example or you could, if you're a JavaScript developer, go with the Java one. But let's go with the TypeScript one. I'm just going to press enter or you could move up and down with the help of keyboard arrow. So it is just uh, now preparing it let's wait for it and it is all done next up let's cd to my crawler and then if i do the ls hldr here you will see it has created a docker file package.json so everything is there let me clear the screen and let me start it so as soon as i start it you will see it will start the scraping of crawly.com which is embedded in this example project you see it is doing the headless one it is not opening it in the browser so i will also show you shortly how can you do the headful one where it will open it in the uh, graphical browser and if you want to stop it you can simply press ctrl c and it will stop crawling your website and these messages uh, primarily what is happening here is it has uh, crawled everything the whole crawly website and you saw um, it was quite fast so I have cleared my screen. Now, if you want to check your data, uh, which, has, which has been scraped, just do ls-ltr, go to storage directory, again ls. You will see that it has done the key value store, request queues, data set. Let's check the data set directory, do ls here again, again default ls. And then if I just, for example, run the first file in the JSON format, let's check it out. Also, you can do a lot of customization there and you can access the documentation from their repo or from their website. There you go. You see, this was the first one. If I go, for example, maybe I'll just go with the six, 16 one. There you go. So it's just a quick start and you can mention, you can control what exactly you want to do. Now, what I'm thinking is that you just, for example, this, uh, crawler is just grabbing the title and the URL. You want to build a data set, you just take it, convert it into, uh, maybe you want to do the <clears throat> system message, user message, and then some other stuff. And you can just build a data set off of it, out of it and then create a JSON L file. Maybe you can use even this one and just create a data set out of it. How good is that? And then for example, if I go back and then do LS, and go to key value and then do ls here cd default and then you can check that for example sdk crawler there you go so these are all the st statistics which you can check out it's very good for any troubleshooting or that sort of stuff and okay so i think that is more than enough Okay. Now, there are a lot of other things which you can do with uh, Crawly. Let me now show you how you can do the 
head full crawling and in order to change that that you want to now do the head full and i will also change the website address to maybe to my own website so here do ls <clears throat> then go to source again ls there is this typescript file open it in editor of your choice now first thing you need to do if you want to see the browser or head full just uncomment this headless i think one more yep so headless is false now i believe you can even set it to true and then here you see that i already have set it to now fahadmirza.com and crawler is going to run it you see how easy that is and you can also <clears throat> change lot of other things like title and other thing okay so let me save it let me go back and then i'm going to clear the screen and i'm going to run that npm start this one it is going to open the browser here you will see the browser is here my website is open and it is doing crawling let it do all done request one amazing that's it so let's go to storage and you can do data set default or whatever there was let's see what was it yeah default and then it has just created one there you go so it has just grabbed my title of the blog so you can see that not only the speed is good lot of customization is available pretty easy to set up and use i will drop the link to it in video description check it out i think they have some paid option too but um uh, i think as long as we have it for free why not use it so <clears throat> that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please do me a favor and consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching